So today's entry is Banner. For the purpose of this, I, fig I figured it would be a good opportunity to talk about systems that are shared under multiple games. Because there's been a growing trend with that. Obviously, D&D has had an extremely large amount of um, third-party material since 2000. But I'd say, big I'd say bigger players than this nowadays are games like Savage Worlds, Fate, and the Cypher system. They're still using the same system, but it's being used in different ways throughout. And this is where I think it has a benefit over trying to do this with, say, D&D &D in general, and especially 5th um, edition. Because 5th edition, much like most kinds of D&D, &D, despite their claims to the contrary, cannot be just hacked into every system that people th that you could come up with. Everyone talks about how modular it is, but it's... It's really modular in the same ways that a block of Swiss cheese is modular. Despite the flexibilities that might be at play, you are still filling in holes that the designers didn't. At the very least, a lot of the Cypher System, um, Fate, and Savage Worlds materials that I've found over the years that doesn't come from their first-party developers do expand the sandbox in ways where some, cr some cross-compatibility is possible. And I think this is due to the fact that, th that um, those games are intended to be semi-universal games on some level. Whereas D&D &D still wants to do the whole um, high fantasy approach. And when you try and branch away from that high fantasy approach, you end up having problems. This has always been a thing for a long time, bigger issue in more recent years. That said, the prevalence of these third-party materials can give off the impression that you need to adapt your idea into one of these systems. You really don't. There's still plenty of room for homegrown systems, even in this current market. And I'd honestly say that, there's going, that that isn't going to change anytime soon, because... No matter what, people are eventually going to get tired of running just another variant of D&D &D or just another variant of Savage Worlds or so on. They're going to want new experiences eventually or they're going to burn out. That's not, that's not me making some sort of bold prediction about the future. That's just how these things work. And just because it hasn't happened yet doesn't mean it won't happen.